13 co-ops formed East Kentucky Power on July 7, 1941, five months to the day before the attack on Pearl Harbor. World War II delayed plans for the new cooperative, but in 1950, after the war was won, East Kentucky Power applied to the Kentucky Public Service Commission to build its own power plant. At that time, commercial electric companies didn't care for the idea of rural people producing their own electricity. But East Kentucky Power and the co-ops forged ahead and opened an office in downtown Winchester. Hugh L. Spurlock came from Jackson Energy to become general manager. He was a very unique leader. He was the type of guy that demanded respect. I got to work under his leadership for probably about 10 or 12 years. It's hard to question success. He started it, he founded it. We're enjoying a lot of the benefits of it today.